What's up everybody, it's your boy Shaquille Bashan and I'm back here giving y'all another video. I hope that everyone is having a great new year. It's the fifth day of January, the fifth day of 2019. So I just hope that everybody is having a great new year despite what's kind of going on on social media. I kind of wanted to make this video because it's a lot that's going on right now. It's a lot that's going on right now. Social media and the media, period, is, is very dark right now. So, if you guys haven't seen or heard of or watched, but I'm pretty sure you have by this point, the Surviving R. Kelly stories that's going on on Lifetime. It's a series that women are coming forth and telling their stories about their encounters with R. Kelly, and it's just ridiculous. It's crazy. I've been on social media in the past 48 hours and i've seen so many different opinions so many different mindsets and thought patterns that i'm honestly concerned because it's a lot of people out here that are excusing what r kelly did like they're really trying to justify what r kelly did and saying that it's basically okay like nothing he did nothing wrong like and I'm sitting here, I'm, it's a lot of, it's a lot of different people. I'm seeing this coming from men. I'm seeing this coming from women. Like, some of y'all are really sick as hell. Really sick as hell. If you really think that that is okay, then I don't even know what to say to you. Because that, that is just not okay. That's not okay. No, there's no justifying, there's no justifying the things that R. Kelly has done. I haven't even watched Survivor R. Kelly, to be honest with y'all. I didn't need to watch it to know what kind of person that, that R. Kelly was. I've already known about R. Kelly. I've heard about what R. Kelly has done. R. Kelly recently had women in his home. They were kind of like in, in bondage. And that was like, a, I don't know if this was within the last two years or so. After I heard about that, that's when I stopped listening to R. Kelly altogether. If it comes on the radio, I turn it off. I change the channel. If it come on my Pandora, skip. Gone. Uh-uh. Thumbs down. Thumbs down. You're not getting none of my views, none of my streams, none of that. I'm not giving you not another coin of mine. You're not getting it. For me, it is people... That's out here that are still going to support R. Kelly. And there's really nothing that you can do about it. It's like they don't see what he did wrong. They don't see anything wrong with what he did, with the things that he did to these young girls. I was on Facebook yesterday. And I literally, I was scrolling and I saw a woman. And she literally made a post comparing R. Kelly to Hugh Hefner. Because Hugh Hefner has, you know, he did his thing with young women granted they were 18 plus but someone tried to compare hugh hefner to r kelly and i'm like ma'am i don't think it's the people over 18 that people are concerned about i think it's the people that are underage that we are concerned about and so they after that they try to play dumb and stupid like oh yeah you're right like no you know what you were doing you were really trying to make excuses for robert kelly and I hit you with the truth, like, it's no excuses. At the end of the day, what I feel like it is, is it's a whole lot of people that needs to be held accountable, starting with his family, because they knew, they knew. And I saw a lot of people saying like, you know, at the end of the day, all of this is about money. Everybody ain't getting their cut no more, they family. They ain't getting their cut no more. And I even saw something about Andrea Kelly, because I, I watched Andrea Kelly's the view interview when it came on tv about a couple of months ago it literally almost brought me to tears because she was just really going into detail about the things that r kelly used to do to her like um hurting her tying her up and stuff like that but it's a video that just surfaced and she's riding around with her bae and listening to r kelly talk about some that's my family that's my family and i'm still listening to my baby daddy that's my baby daddy this that and the third i'm like 
Hmm. And then I saw people saying like, mm, she she was getting in on it too. So I just I don't even know what to even make of her and her story. I mean, I definitely believe that he did the things that she said he did to her, but at the end of the day, she was getting what she what she wanted when she was with him. She was getting the money, the, the, pan, the family. They was getting their cut. They was getting their piece. Ain't nobody said nothing all this time. So, what's what's really going on? What's really tea? What's what's really tea? Like people are out here making jokes. Like, how is this? What's funny about rape? What's funny about being a pedophile? Y'all, y'all, excuse my language, but y'all are fucked up. Something is wrong with y'all. If y'all think that that, that y'all can make jokes out of this, like, y'all are weird. Y'all are weird as fuck. But it's good, though. It's all good because I'm glad that y'all are really being exposed to the people that y'all really are and how y'all really think. So we, I'm, I'm paying attention. I've been observing everybody's statuses, everybody's little comments, this, that, and the third. I've been watching all of it. Everybody that I'm friends with, everybody that I follow on Twitter, Instagram, I'm watching everything. I'm watching everybody. I'm watching what everybody got to say. Because it's really revealing. It's like, oh, this is how you think. Okay. Good to know. Next, I make sure my sisters don't come around your ass. Like, for real. But... It's ridiculous. It's disgusting. That man need to be under the jail. Electric chair. <laughs> oh, shit. Under the jail. I mean, under the under the foundation. For real. For for the things that he to put women through, the things that he ridiculous, ridiculous. But that's y'all man's. I don't listen to him no more. I have deleted all my R. Kelly music out of my phone. As of two years ago, I've been done with Robert. Been done. Hopefully, y'all y'all wake up and realize realize y'all need to stop supporting this man. Y'all keep supporting him. He gonna keep doing it because the fans they don't see nothing wrong with. Me. What am I gonna stop for? I ain't going to jail. I ain't getting locked up or nothing. What? What am, what am I gonna stop for? But that's just what it is. It's really sad to see. I've seen young, young men, older men commenting with daughters and sisters, and I'm like, how can y'all say these things? Y'all got family members, young women in y'all family that y'all need to be protecting. And y'all just like, oh, it's just what he got money. I mean, they was granted. There was money involved. Yeah, there was money involved. And where and, and the parents weren't involved. That is another issue. Yes. Everybody, everybody that is that was that was involved in these situations, parents, family members on both sides of the parties, and the young ladies themselves getting into these situations. I mean, I I know that they could be manipulated. R. Kelly definitely probably manipulated these ladies. And it's not even probably. He did manipulate these ladies, these young women, these teenagers, 14, 15, 16. Oh, a lot of the places the age of consent is technically 16, but I don't even think these women were that age. Some of them won't. So some of these teenagers couldn't even consent for themselves to go and do this do this act with this man so it's just disgusting i am disgusted r kelly is disgusting r kelly is canceled for me hopefully he's canceled for you if you watching this channel and, and and r kelly ain't canceled to you just go ahead and unsubscribe because we ain't even rocking like that but Anyway, that's just my whole spiel on the situation. I pray for all of those involved. Because all everybody need prayer. Everybody need prayer. R. Kelly need prayer. Pray for him, please. Please pray for him. Pray for his family. 
pray, pray for the victims' families. Pray for everybody. Just pray for the pray for the USA. We on a government shutdown right now. It's just too much going on. Just pray for the USA. Like the clock sister said, pray for the USA. Cause we 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 need prayer right now. It's a state. They need to declare a state of emergency. Cause this this don't make no damn sense. What's going on? <laughs> Seriously, government still shut down. They trying to impeach Trump. It's, but that's just my whole spiel on this situation. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all are feeling in the comment section down below. Don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and make sure that you like this video. Um, and just stay up to date with my social media so that you know when I am coming up with new videos. So just make sure that you're subscribed and click the bell so that you're notified when I post those videos. So that's all I got for y'all today. So until next time, peace.